Welcome to Sunday night. If you welcome Sunday night, a vortex of music and Love! And party! Yes, and parting. Indeed, there will be much parting this evening. Could we have them ejected, please, those people at the back? <laughs> well, it's another week, and I don't want to go on about anything. We have some fantastic music this week. We do, we have some great music this week. Um, yeah. And I don't think it would be improper of me to just remind everybody that Christmas was a big time of giving, not just of taking. Um, I didn't get any gifts. This is quite true. No viewers, none of you in the studio audience, none of the wonderful technical staff or people in the band gave me a single present. Don't you think that's dreadful? <laughs> Obviously not. I'm, I'm... Well, yes, I, no, 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 no pity, please, no pity, because it's not too late, it's my birthday <laughs> next week. I'm only saying that just so people know. That's all, really. If anybody wanted an opportunity, next week, If they wanted birthday. an opportunity to. If, if our viewer at home, or the people here, you know, they say... Or, or anybody in the band. Or anybody in the band wanted to. Have you ever had many nice presents in your... I've had wonderful presents all my... People love me. Mm. They, <laughs> they give me things all the time. Yes. It's wonderful, Jules. I wish it could, I wish it could be like that for me, in Maybe many ways. Maybe someday it will. Yes. Still, it's, we've got a vortex of music and... <laughs> yes, and as long as you've got love and a bit of a party with... Old mental face over there. It's uh, you can't go wrong. I don't think. We've also got some lovely, lovely guests. But before we, we 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 go on about them, there's a man mysteriously. Well, not mysteriously. He's just sort of sitting behind the drums, isn't he? <laughs> over there. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just. Um, maybe we should say hello. He's, uh, back. he's back. He's back. The man is back. Omar Hakim has returned. <laughs> Thank God you're all right. We were we were so worried, everybody, weren't we? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were that worried. <laughs> the, to where have you been? I've been working on my uh, debut solo project, album project. Oh, that's a, called a plug, I think. I think so. And somebody told me, somebody told me, I don't know whether this is true or not, that you don't actually play on it at all yourself. Who told you that? Um, Gilson, squeezes drummer, actually, the other week. <laughs> he told me, he said he's so famous, he doesn't even play on it himself. He just goes in and... That's no, that's not true. No. Oh, well. <laughs> nice to have him back, isn't it? Yes. I'm pleased to have him back. Yes! That's the love element, you see? So, who else have we got? Oh, uh, we've got our, our list, because we should think of our own firm first. That's right, the uh, vortex element. The vortex element, and of course we've got George Duke back with us. <laughs> My friend. You heard it. If there's any birthday gift, don't, I don't think, don't think it's something to be embarrassed about if you've got a, a gift for me or well, want to give me a gift next week. I'll think about it. OK. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm sure he, he won't lose any sleep over that at all. And, of course, our band are always here. But we'll be saying that we'll be speaking to them, I think, throughout the, the programme. I Let's sure talk about the special guests, shall we? Please. OK. And we're talking about giving. I've got a gift of music that I'm going to give to you. Again, I give you the gift of music. So, tonight we have a man who brought Latin rhythms into rock and roll. Mr. Carlos Santana, ladies and gentlemen. And... Not only that, but... Playing with Carlos Santana is one of my favourite musicians, a great saxophone player, Wayne Shorter. Yes, excellent. From Texas, which is a long way away from here right at the moment, a man with, uh, well, he of the big hair and large band, Mr. Lyle Lovett. <laughs> a 
and, and our, our first guest, now, I know people always say this on this kind of show, a personal friend of mine, but this first guest happens to be a very good friend of mine. Sure. I've, I've, I've known her for quite a few years, and uh, we, we, go, we go way back. As always. And she's, a great, she's, a, she's a great rhythm and blues singer. Her name is Fontella Bass. Yes! I'm really thrilled. Please, I think you should, I think you should burst into song because you're one of my favourite singers of all time. Well, thank you. Have you ever met him before, though? Oh, I know him from way <laughs> back. <laughs> Good job he yeah. said all that, not me, then. Well, take it away. I'm going to get out of the way. Rescue me. Uh, was instrumental in popularizing uh, Latin music. He's combined a lot of different musical idioms into a, a style that's uh, uniquely his own, and his music is as vital today as it was 20 years ago. Now, here now performing Mandela, along with the great saxophonist Wayne Shorter, is Carlos Santana. <laughs>
Well, you probably wondered how I discovered this talent or novelty of mine, whatever you call it. I will tell you all about it. It was in the year of 1914, in the month of February, as I was going home from school one afternoon and my hands got very cold. I fell into my pockets and had no mittens. I had to do something right away to keep them from freezing, so I began to rub them together like this. And still it was very cold. And next I started to squeeze them together and found out that I could make a few different sounds. Then after practicing every day for several weeks, I could play Yankee Doodle. Then I practiced every day for the next three years, and that was the only tune that I could play in six or seven different notes. And in the next four years, I'd learned marching through Georgia and the Trail of the Lonesome Pine. Well, I suppose you wonder how that I did keep my musical instrument in practice when I was on the farm. Well, that was simply very simple. Just by milking 10 cows morning and night, I could keep my musical instrument in practice and also keep it nice and limber. Welcome back to Sunday Night, the vortex of music and... Oh! Yes, in... And party! And party. That's right. That's right. I won't, I won't say unpleasant things to you, like get up, because party is a good word, and it reminds us, of course, of birthday. I don't want to go on about this, because <laughs> it is my birthday next week, and we will be... George, have you got any ideas of, of a gift or anything for me? You know, I've really been thinking about this, and I think I got one. Okay. We're in New York, right? Yes. You should have a jet hat. Or either a Giants hat, right? Yeah. Are they local teams? Yeah, you, you, <laughs> yeah, they're local teams. Right, I don't want to start wearing, you know, the Boston man walking out in the, in, you know. <laughs> Thank you, George. You they don't are... have to worry about Boston. No, it would be a bit of a cheap present, though. I think. Not, I don't mean to down it in any way, <laughs> you know. But a bit of a hat. I don't mind a hat. That'd be nice. <laughs> whatever, whatever, any, anything would be nice. Just a present. Right. It'd be nice. Anyway, I, I, I digress. I digress. Sorry to. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't apologise enough. Our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, is from Houston, Texas. Thus, geographically, destiny should have made him 100% cowboy. But no. On close analyses, we discover that a scant 17% of him is cowboy, while the remaining 84% of him... We'll be giving you those figures again a little bit later if you want to get a crayon. <laughs> yes, the remaining 84% of him has embraced the blues, folk, jazz and western swing. I believe a tiny little bit of him has even embraced our guest singer, Lani Groves, as well. This, <laughs> combined with extraordinary songwriting skills, helped make up the man, Mr Lyle Lovett. Hello. I'm the guy who sits next to you and reads the newspaper over the shoulder. Over your shoulder. Wait. Don't turn the page. I'm not finished. Life is so uncertain. Here I am. Yes, it's me. Take my hand. true intellectual and emotional compatibility are at the very least difficult, if not impossible, to come by. We could always opt for the more temporal gratification of sheer physical attraction. That wouldn't make you a shallow person 
would it? Chevrolet, what Dodge is to Chrysler, what cornflakes are to post toasties, what the clear blue sky is to the deep blue sea, what Hank Williams is to Neil Armstrong. Can you doubt we were made for each other? Here I am. Yes, it's me. Take my I understand too little too late. I realize there are things you say and do you can never take back. But what would you be if you didn't even try? You have to try. So after a lot of thought, I'd like to reconsider. Please, if it's not too late, make it a cheeseburger. ミュージックエアネットワーク様々なジャンルにわたり大人の音楽専門曲ミュージックエアジャズではジャズギタリストジョン・スコフィールドと世界的テナー奏者ジョー・ロバーノが共演した92年モントリオールジャズフィスティバ
Fantastic Hank Williams. Did any of Hank Williams fans here tonight? Good. It was. And I think that's why this show's good, you see. Completely different from all of the other things we've had on. And Hank, after all, perfect simplicity, you know, sentiment without sentimentality. I, I enjoyed that. How many... And how... It's so difficult to write a simple song. I mean, there were how many chords in that song, do you think, George? Couldn't possibly be more than four or five. No. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was saying, you know? I don't want to get technical with everybody. I'm sorry, I'm ambling. Um, I tell you the thing I liked about that Lyle Lovett. Don't you think he's really well dressed? I really do. What a coincidence. <laughs> really smart looking bloke. Anyway, we try to bring together people who would not normally perform with one another. Fulfilling this task perfectly, we have the new uh, light on the country scene, Mr. Lyle Lovett. Uh, Lyle Lovett. And we also have the soul beacon of Fontella Bass, giving us a dazzling duet of Don't Mess Up a Good Thing.
once again fearlessly combining country and western rhythm and blues and jazz in his own unique fashion, Lyle Lovett with his song, Cry in Shame. You got just some legs, baby, that just won't quit. You got you a pretty boy, and it looks pretty. Now you got you one on the slide, but you gave him the slip. Mm -mm, that's just a, a crying shame Cause you love the boy with the pretty green eyes And you love the boy who says they're so clever and wise And you love the boy who's always telling you lies mm -mm, That's just a, a crying shame Joining us again is Carlos Santana. Uh, Carlos, nice to have you back. Thank uh, you. This is, um, I'm really uh, grateful. Thanks for the invitation. Well, always. I, I know you've been working with uh, Wayne Shorter for, for a while now. As a matter of fact, I saw you in the south of France in, uh, in Joan Le Pan at Sydney Bechet Park. And it, was, it killed me in that concert. It was great. And I, I know what Wayne's music means to me, but uh, what, what's, can you tell us what Wayne Shorter's music means to you? Um, First of all, uh, it was a, a lifetime prayer, you know. Um, it was a great opportunity to work with Wayne. Um, like most musicians, uh, when we talk about Wayne's music, we don't talk about songs, we talk about compositions. So we believe that he's an architect. And I just found out last weekend that archangels are dealing with architect all the time in people's hearts. So we consider Wayne to be an angel in this planet. That's how we feel about him. You won't get any argument from me on that <laughs> score. Can, can you tell us about uh, a little bit about this uh, next song you're going to do? I, I know you have... Uh... This song is the first... It's a song that I first heard back in, back in 70. Uh, Joe Henderson and Luis Gasca had recorded it with Stanley Clark and George Cables. And uh, it's called La Raza. I'm putting, we're putting a uh, different vibration to it and, and uh, we're changing the name to For Those Who Chant. But before I start, I'd like to introduce... Uh, a oh, please. great By friend of mine, a, a supreme musician, a percussionist, uh, Senor Armando Peraza. Yeah. A longtime friend, uh, always got that fire, that intensity. Jose Chepito Areas. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes, indeed. And always our soulful brothers, C.T., Chester Thompson on keyboard. Yeah. Thank you. So, please, by all means. Thank you.
Ludovico. I've had, a, I've had a great time tonight, and I, I hope everybody else has, too. I'd like to thank Carlos Santana. Yes, for being Really fantastic. And, of course, uh, Wayne Shorter, who was helping him beautifully. <laughs> and my good friend, Fontella Bass. Oh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> any presents, but I know that you don't really have any friends. I should I hadn't said it. It sounded horrible, didn't it? I didn't mean it like that. Not somebody who wanted to get birthday presents should say that. Of course, the superbly dressed Lyle Lovett. And, and somebody who's becoming kind of a, a regular here on the show, Lonnie Groves. So, uh, Mr. George Duke, ladies and gentlemen. And should I say this again? As always, as always, our band. I think our band should be band. called As Always. That as is. Always, yes. Yeah. Omar, Philly, Hiram, Tom, they're all there. Well, um, all I can do. Yes, thank you. That's all I can say. That's the only look. That kind of says it all, doesn't it's, it? In many yeah. ways, yeah, I think, yes. In many ways, it does. Yes, yeah. in many ways. Well, I'll, let, we'll get out of your hair then. No, no, well, please, why don't you uh, introduce this next song? And... OK, this is uh, Let the Good Times Roll. There are three versions of Let the Good Times Roll. And this is all, all three of them. Uh, and this is all three of them, simultaneously yes. in tandem, uh, as it were. Good. <laughs> 